and welcome back to another great edition of the Taste Buds. Today we've got some fantastic Lenny and Larry's Keto Cookies. Keto Cookies. That doesn't sound like that's supposed to go together. Are those friends of yours, Leno, Leno and Larry? Leno? Jay Leno? <laughs> What's her name? It's Lenny and Lenny and Larry. Lenny and Larry. Larry. Have you ever had these Keto Cookies before? I, I no. I why, why would I ever buy these? I mean, <laughs> unless you're doing this diet, you don't walk around and say, man, I can't wait to get some new keto cookies. Keto cookies. Let's see. What are the ingredients in the keto cookies? We're talking gluten-free, soy-free, protein-free, First off, free, I can't free. even, I need glasses, but almond flour. This thing feels like nothing. Pea protein, coconut oil, palm fruit oil, chicory root fiber. Hmm. So anyway, we're, we're fixing to taste these and give you an honest assessment of the keto cookies. We have three flavors. What flavors are they, my friend? We've got peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And we've got chocolate chip over there. And, and this And is you said in our last keto episode, coconut. you love some coconut. I don't think I'm gonna love this. <laughs> All right, well y'all hang around cause we fixing to try some keto cookies. And we're gonna do that here in just a second. D was... <laughs> Get a reveal going. We're gonna find out. We we really matched you don't up like together. Those people, those are both the Ranch. Bars. You don't want that. I'm not yeah. surprised. Yeah. There, there's like no way. Bar S. Classic Franks. All everything that's rad and tubular and extreme. All right, we're back to taste test, and this is we're not we're not blind taste testing these. We know that these are uh, Lenny and Larry's keto cookies. <laughs> you pick that thing up. <laughs> now, for those of you that are wondering why I do this sometimes, we actually have a secondary camera that sometimes doesn't get turned on. So if you watched a previous episode and you see me do this, and then nothing happens, it's because the camera didn't get turned well, on. It all but soggy. hopefully the camera is getting turned on in this episode. It feels wet. Well, it's moisture in Ugh. your keto cookie. So, so shall we taste the keto It cookie? smells like dirt. Mm, it tastes like it too. Ugh. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> so this is bad. Don't don't defend this. <laughs> we've attempted to make keto cookies at home before when we've tried. I know you look at me and say, that dude's never done keto. I have. All right. And we have attempted to make keto cookies at home with almond flour before. And this has the traditional almond flour cookie taste to it. Mm -hmm. um, he's struggling. but This is bad. It's typical... Um, it's typical almond flour cookie. Now, six weeks into a keto diet, this would be the greatest thing ever. Right now, after um, we didn't have a keto lunch, um, this is this. I'm struggling a little bit with it. But for now, it's going to number one because <laughs> I got a feeling it's going to slide. I don't even know that we could have a scale for this. Where are you going to put it? Is it number next, three get for the Get the next thing. We got another one coming. And we're back again with this second cookie, and God, I hope it gets better from here. Uh, there's nothing really in this one to show you. It just doesn't have any chunks like the last this one. This is coconut. This one is the coconut flavored one. Let's try it. Let's see. Okay. This is still terrible. I would rather have this one than the peanut butter. It is a little bit better than the peanut butter to me. I will give you that. Um, it still feels really wet and soggy and grainy and it's not good. But yeah, I, I guess two, I, I don't, <laughs> we got, we got, I'm about to go make we got, two. we got the chocolate chip one coming oh. up here in a second. Finally, mercifully, we're seeing the end and it is, these are so bad. This one has chocolate, I think. I hope um, this chocolate chip cookies. 
Well, there's no snap. That's, ooh, ooh. It's just, it seriously feels like you left the cookies in a damp room with no covering. It is what it is. All right. That is still terrible. There but is. The chocolate saves this one. I think that's the only thing helping it. Okay, so please subscribe. We have ranked these three cookies. Yes, yeah, subscribe please, to the channel. Please subscribe. We've ranked. We've ranked these three. We're going to come back and get the the actual packages of this, and we're going to uh, try to let you know how these shook down. So give us a second. We'll be right back. And we are back for our finale. You know what? You and I kind of agreed today, which is a strange alignment of the planet. It usually we, happens when we eat something really terrible. We never agree. So here's how this is. Here's how this is. Really, this is how this should be today. They're all pretty terrible. But we did come to a conclusion that if we had to rank them in a certain order, this is how they would be. So the, the our least favorite by far today was the peanut butter. I mean, it has some chunks of peanuts in it, but it's... Um, it's like eating sand. Then, my coconut-loving friend here. And I love the coconut cookies, the little butter cookies with the little, my, you know, stripes on the top, the little coconuts. And, he's a coca nut. And I like, and I like Samoas and stuff, but that's just horrible. But that was, that was number two. And then if you had to pick a favorite, and I don't even know that you can say it was a favorite, it was just the least worst of the three was the chocolate chips. So here's the deal. If you took the chocolate out of that, it would be if, really unbearable. If you're in a keto, if you're on a keto diet and you just absolutely have to have something sweet, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Lenny and Larry and and Jim and Bob, whoever you were, um, wow, that's all I can say. I mean, maybe you get used to it. Maybe it's an acquired taste after you're on keto for a while. This is seriously like if you went to the beach and you made a bunch of little pies out of sand and ate them. But we, they, they, were not, um, they were not what we were expecting. So this has been another episode of the Taste Buds where we give you honest opinions about foods. But this time it um, just wasn't what we were expecting. So stay tuned. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, go subscribe and like this uh this episode. We're glad we were with you. This is CJ. I'm Greg, and we're going to see you on another episode real soon of That's How the Cookie Tumbles. Anyway.